All right, what's up, guys? My name is Katana Riku, of course. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to give my thoughts on the Shin Megami Tensei 5 new story trailer that just dropped uh, about 30 minutes ago or about an hour ago at this point, actually. Sorry, I just lost track of time. And I have so much that I want to say, but I don't know how to structure it. And so I'm just going to make a video on it just to give my thoughts on what we've seen so far and just why this is just instantly just the hype has shot up even more than it already has. Uh, so the first shot you see is of this green area. I don't really know a lot of what a lot of this is. A lot of the scenes in this trailer, it gives you stuff without context. Um, so you're not really sure what's going on, but at the same time, it piques your curiosity. I'm really glad to see that uh, the female character, I mean, I, I knew she was coming back at some point. Obviously, a lot of people thought she was scrapped or something, but no, nah, it definitely finalized her design back in 2017. I'm glad to see her back and she looks awesome, uh, way better uh, than I could have imagined. Like she looks dope. Um, it's just a lot a lot to take in on this trailer you can see the return of that weird uh demon that i mentioned before with the somewhat humanoid face or with hair but instead of where his eyes are there are holes and his mouth is like a giant hole you see uh, some character some female character i think walk into his mouth and then he kind of walks away and disappears once again it's another example of a scene that you get without any context so you don't know what the heck's going on and sorry for the clicking, this is me actually going through the trailer in real time as I speak. Uh, you get another shot of the heroine, the female character, which her design is awesome. She has like plaid, like a plaid skirt, uh, floral. It's like the school uniform, except it's a jacket. It's a lighter blue, lighter shade of blue, but it still has the white lilies on the jacket and a shirt, a white shirt underneath. And she says Tokyo is fading, which is really interesting, which is more proof that that trailer at E3 that we got in the west was just kind of like a marketing trailer it said that they traveled to another dimension but it seems like this tokyo or dot is the real tokyo they're confused on what happened uh while they were in that tunnel what happened to tokyo while they were in that tunnel is basically the question that they're asking here and and once again like at this scene here you can hear the really awesome music I was, obviously i can't like have the trailer i don't have the ost right now i wish i did but the music in this trailer is really good. I'm going to talk about that in a second uh, near the end of the video. Um, they are, it seems like just this whole scale of war, whatever, is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be, mainly because it doesn't just involve demons this time. Or it does, but there are also a lot of human characters, which is something that is a big thing that I'm really glad that has returned in SMT5. I can't tell you how happy I am to see more human characters because as I said before, that was absolutely my favorite part of SMT4 was the fact that you had a bunch of humans, you had human party members that represented each alignment and stuff like that. You had just humans that were just living in Tokyo. This isn't doesn't seem to be to the same degree of SMT4 where it's like a billion humans in Tokyo, well, obviously it's not. You know what I mean? A lot of humans in Tokyo and they're just kind of like doing their own thing. All the human characters are deeply tied to the story it looks like and there are a bunch of different students you can see a guy that people say looks like Ryuji I think he looks somewhat similar if you don't look at his face you have the girl character obviously the heroine there's a grown man something did say something about Bethel Japan or dedicated to the security of Tokyo I mean so it is possible that there are more humans that we still have not seen in this game yet they're talking about like the the power of the Nahabino. They don't know where it came from, but we'll make use of it. I don't know what to make of that line. I'm kind of getting like faction vibes or something, but I'm not really sure. Like the Bethel of Japan is kind of, it would be like the Ring of Gaia or like, uh, what was the other one in SMT4? I can't remember for some reason. I can't remember the name, but that's just what I think. You got more look at gameplay, which once again confirms that it's just going to be absolutely amazing. I'm, I'm really excited to just play this game I, I gotta play this game uh you can see returning demons from the other trailers mermaid angel with her new design or their new design jack-o-lantern uh, it looks like <laughs> fairy banquet is going to be just the new name for luster candy which is pretty cool as well um they bring up the name bethel a lot so i'm not really sure what that's about um it's really interesting and there's another shot of the protagonist walking through what looks like a dot version of a high school it could be his high school and just man there's just so much to take in there's so much to take in there's more human characters that you can see um one of them has a green scarf on the other one has glasses there's just there's so much going on this time and i'm just so glad that there are more human characters there's a really funny scene here of absurus being worshipped by a bunch of demons you can see there is um 
looks like Kodama, I forget, I for Kate Sith, I think, and I forget this name, Prada, the Pradas, yeah. Um, so there's a lot of story stuff going on, but at the same time, it tells you a lot, but it doesn't, you still, you're still not completely sure what's going on. And then you can see this really awesome shot of the boy himself, Lucifer, descending from the sky, which is really, really, just a really crazy visual. It just looks awesome. You can see a shadow just completely engulfed Tokyo. This dude is huge. He's definitely not playing around this time. You got another shot of Sophia, and at the end, you see, just, you see him, like, turn into you see lucifer turn into some sort of like you looks like he defeated him i don't know what it is could be one of the endings and then you got the logo and once again i just want to highlight the music here it's just extremely good ryota kazuka is doing a, a fantastic job just like bringing the feel of the game alive just making it feel alive it's just it's insane dude i, I can't wait to hear more of this the battle theme sounds great i've talked about that before we've heard multiple battle themes but i'm not sure where the boss theme is i'm not sure if you've heard it already but just, man, hearing those atmospheric tracks, it reminds me of SMT4's main theme. It's just, at least the theme that played in the beginning of the trailer really reminds me of SMT4's main theme. And, or the second track, about 40 seconds in, but oh my god, dude. I just, this game is looking like it's, I'm, I'm not trying to like, hi, be like hyperbole, but this is looking like it could be one of the best JRPGs I've ever played. And I'm dead serious, I, I've played a lot of JRPGs, I'm talking Fantasy Star, Persona 5, Persona 4. SMT4, SMT4 Apocalypse, you know, Final Fantasy. Dude, this is looking like it could possibly be possibly be my favorite JRPG of all time. I'm I'm not even kidding. Like this looks like it's gonna be just an amazing game, bro. I don't know. Um so it's been about seven minutes at this point. I've been just kind of gushing over this trailer. Uh the Japanese and the English trailer are basically the same. The Japanese one's a little longer, but that's because they highlighted the Nahabino, Forbidden Nahabino special edition. Um so yeah, man, I guess that's all I have for this video. My hype for this game is just, it's just, man, I can't even, I can't even describe how high, how high, how high my hype is. It's just, it's, it's insane. I can't wait for this game. November 12th, it needs to come here already, bro. This is just instantly gonna be a game. I just, I'm worried about my time when I finally get to play this game. Like it's gonna be, it's gonna be dangerous. Like I'm gonna be playing this game hours and hours a day. It's, anyway, guys, I don't want to just segue for too long anyway that's all i have for this video i want to know your guys thoughts down below on this trailer uh, let me know what you're excited for if you like what you've seen so far and as always if you like this video leave a like if not leave a dislike and if you want to see more videos from my channel I'm talking about Shin Megami tensei persona final fantasy monster hunter and other jrpgs on playstation and nintendo hit that subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you in the next video